by the Korea Creative Content Agency and Korea Culture Center UK in association with uh, UK DRT. Thank you for coming. The conference will include three... Uh, I think it's a great initiative to help both countries to uh, support their artists in uh, Korea and, uh, and also here in the UK as well for EPL um, and sort of the MMF. So we try to encompass. 유럽 유리시안에 대해서는 기대 가치가 이제 미리 반영돼 있기 때문이라고 생각하고 있습니다. The current standing of the Korean market and overall perception of the Korean market is a reflection of the expectation from the global market. Beijing of music festival in Korea. Most of all, with its powerful lineup including musicians worldwide such as Oasis, Muse. Radio Hat, the Fighters, and Rebel Peppers. It's more that whole general ex exchange thing. So that's, you know, say we've, we've already had all this, things like that. There is a market, and, and the really keen young kids all know. We are, I work in India a lot, for example, so whenever you call them, I'm basically an unknown band, I'm an Indian. You know, where do you see that right now in Korea? It's clearly the biggest acts are going to be domestic acts. Uh, just to finish my little left by PowerPoint, just to give you an idea on the UK, the strength of the UK, and the UK. The fact that Adele sold so many the year before, that obviously is going to skew any figures on this. I think Adele sales were about 70 to 20 percent on CD, so you know. Any year after that is going to make In the world behind the US, UK, and Sweden since 2012, for a lot of people, they're actually quite shocked because they don't know Korea's digital music market is actually bigger than China, bigger than India. And in a business sense, um, and again, they do use YouTube. However, they've not currently sort of actually opened up an office there. Um, so the main sort of localized services that are there are Melon, Bugson, and that. As Ben is sort of like a lot of other sort of other vision there, like you know, you really one of the, the major artists. Scooter Brown, who obviously um, you know, CL and Sally. Um, to uh, network another beer or two before to really make a mark around the world. Since 2014. And we played outside of Korea for the first time in 2015, and since then we've been traveling quite a lot outside of Korea. They don't sound vocal melody very quickly. Actually, they got our production, they sent it to the native American producer, so it does happen. Um, but it depends on what their goal is as well. Again, if that artist is trying to break America, then they might get a show with Shiny and TBXQ. Um, and potential to do incredibly well in a particular market. Um, and you know, translation, deduction, and it's quite standard for us. Our writers are writing songs specifically for those markets. We don't, you know, they're under the impression that something. It was, you know, I, I love music from all over the world, and I think it's a great opportunity to explore different um, avenues within music. And I think it's wonderful to, to meet wonderful new people and and to see where you know where it takes it takes us. I think from a production background, it would be great to look at future collaborations with um, artists, you know, and songwriters and, you know, everyone really, it's all, it's all music, it's all love. It was great to see that we had a great cross-section of industry people um, attending for all, I think, the right reasons. Um, and in the long term, to see collaboration opportunities between Korean uh, businesses, writers, composers, producers and artists, uh, along with the UK companies, writers, producers and artists as well. In Korea, the, um, the opportunity that's been developed through streaming in particular means that there's more music, international music in particular, is being discovered in Korea. Um, and so there's opportunities there for British artists and British companies to, to take their artists and their music and their product into the market and vice versa as well. Well, um, the reason I found that very interesting is it was answering my questions as to what sort of music would appeal to um, 
the, the, the Korean market and particularly the younger market, the teenagers. It was also very interesting to find out how much digital media is, is, is important and the various different companies, because obviously we'd look to Spotify or Apple or SoundCloud or something like that. So I feel that I learned a lot about that. Korean industry? Fingers crossed, yes. Um, and coming today has taught me what we need to do in order to uh, have future collaboration. I'm very keen to do it because I see it not only as Korea, but the whole emerging Asian market. It all surprises me because um, I was asked sort of a couple of days ago, but I think that's often the best way to, to be because you know, I'm not coming prepared with, here's my speech, I'm coming with real answers when, when they actually get asked, so in a sense. So 